Nobody know. So the guy behind the wall is sending his third square kilometer of wood and he is not willing to stop. So we'll have to go with that. My dear friend is moving to his new apartment and he needs a dining table. Uh, he is a woodworker himself so he will easily make the uh, countertop, the tabletop. But he asked me if I could help him with the uh, metal work. He looked through Pinterest and find, found a few photos he liked and here's the design he chose. It may look complex at the first sight, but uh, when I did uh, a little bit deeper research, it's not even a research, I just scrolled down <laughs> a few pages and I found that it's not that complex. I will, I will try to explain on, on this whiteboard. If you would look it from the top, so it's just two uh, parallel axes, uh, two parallel axes uh, welded at a certain angle with some uh, insert in the middle. I need only two measurements, this uh, width and the angle of the rhombus. So to make this rhombus, first of all I have to find this uh, this angle and it's fairly easy I just uh, made a perpendicular line I divided that in, uh, in half so it's 45 and 45 and then uh, I divided uh, 45 into uh, equal, equal parts and it happens to be the same uh, angle as for the, for the legs so I just had to combine those two numbers and here we have it Second, I need to determine this uh, dimension. Like I said, my drawing is a bit uh, off the scale and of proportions, but from the one I looked at the computer screen, it seemed that the, this dimension is double the size of the width of the tubing. And I already had the tubing, my friend brought it to me, so I know that the tubing is uh, 80 uh, millimeters by 80 millimeters. So all is left to do is to figure out uh, this angle. But since I have all the measurements, so I think I will put it against the wall with a certain height and certain length, and I will determine that way. Or I could just sketch it in the computer, but. I would rather prefer to do it uh, real size. Enough talking. To the welding room.
So my beloved evening companion is finally back. Greetings. And as always, I underestimated how complex this build is. Actually, it's not that complex when you know what to do. So the key element here is that rhombus insert. First of all, I made it out of sheet metal, 3mm sheet metal, and it was a huge mistake. Because it didn't hold the structure strong enough, it was flexing, I tried to reinforce it, then it got distorted, and the whole chain reaction of frustration began. So I took a rest, a big cup of coffee, and restarted this project. And that's all I needed. I made this insert plate out of 30mm uh, tubing and it solved all the problems. It was easy to weld, easy to secure, it held the structure very well, it didn't got distorted. Maybe a couple of mils, but that's nothing. Like a great man once told, you go in school with the first one. That's what happened. And my apologies, I cannot leave you with a fully finished piece. I don't really know how long the powder coating will take. But I guess you don't need a lot of imagination to picture this one in black. That's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. And see you soon.